What's going on everybody? How are you doing today? Here I am in the Pacific Palisades district of Los Angeles. Uh, not too far from Malibu, as you can see behind me, Pacific Ocean. Beautiful, beautiful view. This is a gorgeous area, a gorgeous area here in California. Mountains behind me. It's just absolutely amazing. The views, wild. So I'm going to do this video a little bit differently than I usually do. I'm just going to kind of talk unfiltered, uh, put in some pictures of who I'm talking about, explain why I'm here. And um, this is a tough one. And when I say that, I'm auto right away in my brain, I'm like, it's a tough one. You don't have to do it though, Scott. So, but it's a tough one, f what I mean for all of us. The death of Matthew Perry just a few days ago. When I got the news, I was in Alabama for the weekend. I was not in Los Angeles. I was flying back that night or later that night. And um, got the news from my friend Brian first. Shocked. I went right away to Twitter, Google, and it started coming in. Then I've got thousands of people writing to me uh, on the comment sections of my videos and Instagram, things like that, direct messages. It was insanity. I guess because people know my channel and what I do and I visit celebrity graves and things like that and pay tribute to people. And ultimately that's what I want to do is pay tribute to Matthew. Now, and while I'm talking, standing here on the corner, I've already been up to the house and uh, taking some video and some pictures and I'm going to intercut those right now while I'm talking about Matt. And uh, I can say that I spoke to somebody who is working on the property, working there and they're very, very nice. People have been coming from all over the world, not just sending things, but actually coming by. Now maybe possibly they're in town already, I'm not sure, but from the UK and Australia, People have come to the house already and just to show you the memorials there. Then we'll walk up together. Uh, so I was watching someone walk by my car. I think in this area it's more than safe though. What I'm going to do is going to walk over to Matthew's house. It's right up the street right here and take a look at the memorial. There's a memorial to him. People have been leaving flowers, cards, everything. And I want to take a look. I want to bring you along with me. I wrestled with, is it too soon? Is it right? And then I watched a lot of video of the night that he passed, just three nights ago. I watched a lot of video about it. And there was so many news crews on the street, seeing, you know, TVNZ, all, all of it. And I don't know who some of these reporters were, but they were going right up to Matthew's family in their cars, getting out, and, and, you know, going into the house and they were filming them up close. And I was just like, my God, like, how can they do that to them? And, you know, I understand when a famous person dies, you know, news crews are going to show up outside their house and where, or where it happened. But when the family comes, don't you have, like, why are you filming them? And why are you filming them so up close? At one point, there was a clip. It's Blue Cell Drive. The address is widely known where he passed. I know that they, they were moved down to the end right here. So there were lots of long shots looking up the street. So thankfully the police did, did a good job getting them away, I guess, at one point from the family. So, having said that, I don't think it's too soon because of the fact that news crews were coming out here and coming still coming out here. I, I, I think there's people there now. And I thought to myself, well, I, I want to see the house and I want to have a place on my channel for people to grieve collective grief and that's what a lot of us are going through right now the loss of Matthew Perry it's a real thing and it's not it, when a celebrity or somebody famous passes away especially someone so beloved and Matthew Perry was beloved the entire cast of friends beloved we experience collective grief collective grief and that is a real thing and people 
Some people will be like, oh, it's just a celebrity, or they can say worse things about the person, I'm sure. But it's somebody who is in your living room, is in your bedroom on the TV, you know, wherever you watched Friends or any of his um, wonderful movies. Fools Rush In, 17 again. Whole Nine Yards, one of my favorite movies. Whole Ten Yards. Let's not forget Almost Heroes with another one of our favorites, Chris Farley. I first discovered Matthew Perry in um, A Night in the Life of Jimmy Reardon with one of my favorite actors, River Phoenix. And Matthew Perry stole it, stole the movie. He was incredible. It's an early 90s movie, I think, right? Maybe late 80s. He stole it, for sure. I think it's late 80s. He was extremely talented, extremely gifted, and so funny, on and off screen. You can watch bloopers of Friends. He had the, he always had the cast uh, in stitches, cracking up. We don't know the tr full cause. We don't know why Matthew Perry died. We know he passed away in a hot tub, the hot tub here behind his home. And we don't know what caused it yet. They've done an autopsy that was done on Sunday. We don't know. People assume heart attack, cardiac arrest right away. Uh, that's going to come out probably. I would assume that's what it was. But of course, there's other. He was playing pickleball early in the day at Riviera Country Club. And he could have been overheated. Get into a hot tub, you're going to get really hot. He could have just passed out and drowned. As simple as that and as horrifying as that. That's one theory I've heard. But with his history, his health history, I'm gonna let you look that up online. Wikipedia is not always the greatest source, but you can look up, go to Wikipedia, you can see his health history, and uh, it's unbelievable. He almost died twice before. And uh, it looks like it's probably a heart attack or cardiac arrest and drowned. And he struggled for a lot of his life, alcoholism, drug abuse. So if I find out that it was heart um, issues, heart attack, cardiac arrest, I'm not a wealthy YouTuber by any, any stretch of the imagination. I do what I do out of passion and of love for what I do. And it helps me to travel and do these videos and to pay the bills back home in Toronto, Canada, Matthew Perry, part Canadian. Um, Proceeds from this video, I will donate to uh, Heart Foundation, Heart and Lung Foundation. We'll pick one together, maybe. I'll put a post on my Instagram about two or three weeks, and I'll make a donation from because this video will be monetized. YouTube monetizes my videos usually, and this one's so soon. So I would want to make that clear that I'm going to donate it, donate money, and in Matthew's name and in. My subscribers names Scott on tape subscribers and viewers I think that's the right thing to do and I'm happy to do it and my mother passed away from my can't even say her name can't even say my mother passed away from heart issues heart attack so it's very uh, important to me let's walk up and take a look at the memorial for Matthew Perry and I can't express how much grief and loss was on my channel and Instagram and he was so beloved and let's walk over there now it's gonna go up the street right here you know, the jingling in my pocket I want to see the memorial it should be, be right up here on the left as we walk up and we'll take a look um, a lot of work being done on the street as you can see houses under construction Matthew had just bought this house recently I believe for about six million dollars he had a lot of property here in Los Angeles. And originally when I got the news, I thought it was his new Hollywood Hills house. That's where I assumed it happened. And then saw the news report specific Palisades. But here it is up here. And I think there's people coming right now to take a look. Okay, let's get over there.
so yeah this video <sighs> let me get in the shadow here I thought I talked to some friends that I really really trust I trust their judgment I trust my own mostly um, I put up a post on Instagram about an hour or two after Matthew had passed away I'm a huge huge friends fan for one uh, I even won a friends trivia contest back in Toronto a few years ago uh, my friend Anna if she's watching I won um, huge one of my favorite shows of all time and I think a lot of us feel that way so it um, Death of Matthew Perry you know right up there for me with Luke Perry same last name I didn't even think about that when I was thinking about it today uh, George Michael those are the celebrity deaths that hit me the hardest for sure switch sides for them I just had to switch sides quickly then. and I don't think it's odd I don't think it's odd at all that when a celebrity dies, I'm upset or people are upset. I start talking more collectively, like collective grief, as I was talking about. It's not strange and it's not odd because we feel close to these people. We didn't know them personally. We weren't friends with them, no pun. But we, they felt like a part of our lives. And, they, and more importantly, they brought us joy and escapism. We escape from our own lives to delve into their fictional lives. And Friends, one of the most popular shows of all time, you know, Friends is up there with Seinfeld. Um, everybody loves Raymond. I mean, there's some shows that are just huge. I'm, I'm forget, you know, I'm forgetting uh, Breaking Bad. There's a, there's a ton. Fr Friends is just up there, everybody. It's, it's seen all over the world. So I talked to some friends. And they all, they all said, you're in LA, you have to, you have to. It's what you do on your channel. You, and this is their words on my, I don't think of myself as anything other than just a guy who makes videos and films on YouTube. They said, you can speak about Matthew respectfully and with dignity better than the news crews did. You're not reporting it the same way. And you're going to give people a place that they can write in the comments and come together and I thought thank you I hope that's what my channel is and um, yes in the comments section write what you remember about Matthew what you loved about Matthew you know suffer somebody for his family not that I think they're going to see the video of course but suffer his family and friends people who are experiencing severe grief right now over the sudden loss of somebody young had it all and gifted and seemed to be the kindest man he started a rehab he was in and out of rehab i think 14 times but he started a rehab center out of his old home in malibu and now i know he sold that home and relocated the services to somewhere else um that seemed to be something important to him as well so now i'm thinking about it i know it was important to him that seemed we could donate the proceeds from this video to that as well split it between so I just wanted to really kind of feels like I'm trying to justify it and I am I am trying to justify coming out here because I don't need to be the first on scene I don't know who, what other youtuber would come out I don't I don't you know if celebrity dies and I'm not in the city what happens and they're buried I do famous graves with celebrities and sometimes I go a year later two years later I do it on my own time or when I, adorable, I do it on my own time when I can get there and when I think it's right or, you know, when there's a new, when the headstone's finally up. Sometimes I've jumped the gun a little because I've been where the person happened to pass away and I've been story about it right then. I hope I always do it with um, respect, dignity, and because that's the way I am. I hope you, uh, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know how many views this video will get. It's a tribute to Matthew. It's showing the memorial and how beloved. And people want to see the area, you know, where it happened. It was all night footage from the camera crews and all that and dark. Um, 
want to show that. So I'll put this video up soon, probably tomorrow. And like I said, we um, collective grief is something that we all feel, we all come together when somebody famous dies or worse, a tragic event occurs of with multiple deaths. And a symptom of that is loss of control. It's out of your control. You, there's nothing you can do to stop it. And it's true. There's nothing any of us could have done. We, uh, Notwithstanding his family and friends, but there's nothing the general public could have done. So it comes as such a shock, and then we realize it's out of our control, and there's nothing we can do, and that paralyzes paralyzes people, and, and it, it, ten, it manifests and becomes this thing where people just wa want to get their feelings out, and that's what collective grief is. It's just everybody at once, especially for for somebody that we all think we knew, felt like we knew and loved. And Matthew Perry, very beloved and loved. I, uh, I'll show you one more shot. As you can see that beautiful view, right up where the red car, the key is going. That was Matthew's Porsche, if you could see it in the driveway, the, the matte black, beautiful car. Um, where that red outhouse is. Kaibo, I'm not sure what we call them here in America now. I've got Canadian blood in me, so I call them Kaibos, but outhouse. That's Matthew's house. And because Matthew's mother is Canadian, I mean, Matthew Park Canadian, I am wearing my Toronto Maple Leafs shirt. I don't think Matthew would have liked that though, because he was a big Ottawa Senators fan. That's where he lived, Ottawa, Canada, our capital. Uh, we embraced Matthew Perry as a Canadian. Uh, he was Canadian American. But Canadians, when somebody makes it big, first of all, when somebody makes it big, we say, okay, come back down a little bit. You're not that big. Let's chill out. But we want to see other Canadians uh, succeed in the entertainment industry and sports and things like that. We just, it was a sense of national pride. And well, um, Matthew Perry was uh, one of Canada's favorite sons, for sure. So I did the video. I hope that I did it the way I wanted to. I'm just gonna put it up pretty much unedited with a few little clips I'm gonna to have to edit out where I stop talking or something and sound. But otherwise, I wanted to come out here, I wanted to see it, and I thought, is it too soon? I don't think so because I don't know when, a year from now, I mean, the memorial will be gone. That was a big part of it. I wanted to see the flowers out front. And like I said, we're gonna, as tragic as his death is, whatever proceeds I make, personally from this video, I will donate. And um, we'll pick something together. I'll put some posts up on Instagram in a few weeks, like I said, and see how the video's doing, and just donate it. And that'll, that'll be something we can do for Matthew in his memory. I know how you all are feeling about Matthew Perry, and I am too, and it hurts, and it sucks. and. It's not going to be the same watching Friends. We're all going to remember. We're, we're going to, it's going to be a long time before we can just watch Friends and just be, not think, my God, Chandler's gone. <sighs> Janelle Bong. Okay. And thank you to Ava, Randy Big Bake, my friend Sarah, everybody who I talked to, about, my sister, everybody who I talked to about doing this video and they encouraged me said you'll do it right so I hope I did maybe I didn't and I'm sorry if I didn't and I mean that I'm sorry if I didn't um, I have a respect for for the people that I do videos about and I have respect for my audience and I wanted to I wanted to see it and I want to bring you along rest in peace Matthew Perry rest in peace Chandler okay thanks for watching everybody Fools Rush in. Watch that tonight. That's a great movie. I love you all. Peace. And rest and to your family and friends. Very, very nice. It's kind of strange because I was I I don't get scared or worried about coming out to any place, but here I was like, you know, it's, I know the neighborhood, I know it's gonna be quiet. And I'm gonna be walking around talking. But everybody, so nice, so nice around here. And to the friend that's watching at Matthew's house or relative, 
Hope you're doing okay, man. Thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, peace. Love you all. Peace.